Israel destroys Bedouin village for the 119th time. Despite monthly demolitions, residents of Al Arakib say they will never leave their ancestral land in the Negev. Israeli forces have destroyed a village in the country's southern Negev region for the 119th time. Residents of Al Arakib village said that armed forces and riot police stormed into the village with bulldozers at 7:15 a.m. on Tuesday, raising its remaining buildings to the ground. Watch, Israel to demolish Bedouin homes in Palestinian village, 156. They stormed in and destroyed everything, every single building, every single home, village leader Saya al Tori told Al Jazeera. The village, home to around 220 people, was first demolished on July 27, 2010. Since then, displaced residents have sought help from local activists to rebuild. We are now living in makeshift homes, thanks to the state's racist and criminal policies, Altouri said. They want to forcibly move us and do not comprehend that we are citizens of the state. They don't recognize us, and if they did, they would have granted us our rights. Israeli authorities regularly carry out demolition orders in the Negev, arguing that these villages lack building permits, but residents say it is impossible to obtain a permit to build legally. Al Arakib is one of some 40 unrecognized Bedouin villages in southern Israel that are under existential threat. No matter what, we will remain on our ancestors' lands, Al Turi said. Our cemetery has been here since 1914, and we have six water wells that we aren't even allowed to drink from. The last time Al Arakib underwent a demolition order was on September 14. Demolition orders against the village are executed on a monthly basis. An estimated 200,000 Bedouins live in Israel, centered mainly in the country's southern region. They are often denied state services, including water, electricity and educational facilities. Israel plans to relocate the residents of unrecognized villages to planned townships. The process of replacing Bedouin villages with Jewish-only towns is underway, with villages such as Am al being slated for demolition. A lawyer representing Al Arakib's residents said that they had rejected a court order stating that they did not have ownership of the land and that it was lent to them by the state. Feature: How Israeli citizens are becoming stateless. We called for the immediate halt to demolition orders, lawyer Sabi Ibn Thuri told Al Jazeera. But the state refused to recognize the tribe's ownership of the village, claiming that the land was lent to them by the state back in the 1950s. Following the establishment of the State of Israel, Palestinian Bedouin villages and towns were declared closed military zones. At the time, many were unable to leave their towns without permits and were unaware that their lands had become property of the state. People like the residents of Al Arakib only realized their land had been confiscated when the police arrived with bulldozers to destroy their homes, Thuri said. The state claims these lands belong to them, but in reality, this is not the case. These people have inhabited the land way before the state ever existed. According to Thury, the state will not grant the residents ownership of the village, even if they prove that they are the rightful owners. The state also compiled a criminal file on Al Turi, claiming that he has trespassed on public land. At best, they'll, Al Arakib residents, be provided with compensation in the form of an alternative piece of land, Thury said. But that, they have completely refused.